Hello, this is Mr. Hornby83 along with JC for the uh, Mr. Hornby83 review of the, the 2016 WWE Royal Rumble. And we're not going to do the pre show match because, bro, I only watched like uh, the last half hour of it. So all I seen was Mark Henry and Jack Schweiger win, which, if you find out, their win didn't mean nothing later in the Rumble. So it was worthless. We'll just jump to the main card. Um, WWE Intercontinental title match, last man standing. JC wasn't here to see that. So I'll talk all on this one. Well, you need to see a couple of them. But, um, yeah, it was a pretty good match. And, you know, JC was right, I was wrong. Owens didn't win. Ambrose won. You know, which, you know, would have been a great night for Ambrose had the Royal Rumble turned out the way. It was planned, but, you know, it didn't work out that way. Um, I mean, they went back and forth pretty much to match. Owens almost had Ambrose down for a 10 count a couple times, but Ambrose barely gets up. And um, then when Owens, I guess, went for a uh, moonsault or something off the top rope, he had stacked up two tables earlier in the match, and Ambrose pushed him onto that. He couldn't get up, couldn't answer 10 count, so... Your winner and still Intercontinental Champion, Dean Ambrose. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, WWE Tag Team Title Match. JC didn't see this one either. But, uh, WWE Tag Team Title Match between the New Day and the Oost Owls. And, uh, please do, he's out, he didn't win. And, uh, New Day had a new trombone. Francesca too, and New Day pulled off the victory over the Usos, which something odd happened during this match. The fans actually started booing the Usos, so I don't know if it's because all the fans, you know, all the true fans or the smart fans, as WWE likes to call them, uh, started booing the Usos and was cheering for the New Day to win. New Day comes out with the victory. Um, smart move by Big E. Uh, one of the Usos was getting ready to suplex Kofi off, and Big E tagged Kofi and dropped down until he knocked Kofi off the top. Big E catches him in midair, hits him with the big ending, and one, two, three, still tag team champions. The team that should have won tag team of the year in 2015, because they were there the whole year and not out six months of the year, um, the New Day. All right, now JC will be able to chime in because he saw these last few matches. The WWE U.S. title match between Alberto Del Rio and Kalisto. Well, they kind of get this one kind of right. And it was a pretty decent match. Uh, but I didn't care for the ending because I don't know what they're doing with the freaking League of Nations. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kalisto wins. What do you think? I don't know what, I think the League of Nations is just a plain joke now. Yeah, yeah. because you're not letting them get no titles. You got, well, I don't know. I think they're pretty much here just to do the dirty work of the McMahons and Helms. Yep. But, um, next up would be, was the uh, WWE Divas title match between Charlotte and Becky Lynch. I mean, we both pretty much guessed who was going to win that because they ain't done that with Becky Lynch. But what happened at the end... That was amazing. Was very intriguing. That was cool. Uh, Sasha... Well, the match was a good match. <coughs> one of the best Divas matches I've seen in a while. Uh, I'm not going to say it was the best or the greatest or whatever, but it was one of the best Divas matches I've seen in a while. I mean, it was awesome. And then after, you know, Charlotte won, Becky Lynch... <laughs> Uh, well, not Becky Lynch. Sasha Banks came out and made it look like she was going to buddy-buddy up with Charlotte. And then once Flair got out and once Charlotte turned her back, Sasha just jerked her and just freaking put her in the bank statement. What you think? That was awesome. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to that match. It might happen at Fastlane and lead into WrestleMania where Sasha Banks will finally get the title. You know. Put an end to this. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, they're trying to make it look like Flair's trying to live off his daughter's legacy now. But, <laughs> you know, Flair has his own legacy that he's had for a long time. And 
only two people are close to his record, and hopefully neither one of them pass it. <laughs> Which, you'll find out what I'm talking about now, because we're jumping to the Royal Rumble match itself for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It started out with Roman Reigns and Rusev, of course. Uh, Roman puts Rusev out. Um, Best entrance of the night was, was it number three? Yep, number three. AJ, AJ Styles. Styles. And, yeah, there was rumors that he might be in it. There was rumors he wasn't going to be in it. Uh, but he ended up being in it. I think keeping people guessing was the best idea. Yeah, it was. And I was really pulling for AJ Styles, but I figured he's probably not going to win it this soon. Despite my blind fandom of AJ. I knew he wasn't going to win it this soon. I've got to give him credit. He lasted over 20 minutes. He lasted like 28 minutes. Yeah, but, um... So, AJ Styles officially now a member of the WWE. And, you know, hopefully WWE uses him right. Usually when they take guys from the indies or from TNA, they freaking underutilize them and just mistreat them. And it's just whack. Look at what happened to Kevin Owens after he beat Cena clean his first night there. <laughs> yeah, they very quick tried to. But he, re he rebounded, and now I guess he's pretty much buried again. I think the rumble was against Kevin Owens tonight. Uh, um, and the match went on. We had, you know, Wyatt. We had, you know, Roman last for a bit. Then the Wyatts came out, or no, League of Nations came out with Vince, beat the crap out of Roman, put him to the table. This was like, I think around the time 13 entrance had been in, and you know, not too many surprise people came. To the Royal Rumble, like surprise returns or anything like that, except for one. 